Praise the Lord, Hallelujah. Blessed be the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ in this wonderful and blessed morning. Dear children of God, let us together on this year of 2021, on this month of October 15th, Friday morning, to worship our God, to praise our God, our Heavenly Father for every wonderful opportunity. Tell Him thank you on this Friday morning. Rejoicingly tell Him thank you, Father, thank you. Thank you, thank you, Lord, thank you. Thank you, Jesus, thank you, thank you, Hallelujah, thank you, Father, thank you. We worship you, we praise you, Lord. Father, we give you the glory. Last full morning for protecting us, for your mercy and grace. Thank you. We remember last morning and tell you thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Father, thank you. Father, for this beautiful, wonderful morning. Thank you. With good health and happiness, you who woke us up for your tender mercies and kindness. Father, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. With gratitude, we tell you thank you. Father, thank you. With the Lord Jesus, for this morning, we tell you thank you. Father, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Father, you who is holding your hand this morning. Father, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank Thank you, Father. Thank you, Hallelujah, Father. This morning also, thank you for covering us under your grace, Father. We worship you, Father. We praise you, Father. We tell you thank you. In Psalm sixty-eight, verse number nineteen says, "Blessed be the Lord." who daily loads us with the benefits, the God of our salvation. Hallelujah. The Lord who is our salvation. He is a God who daily loads us with benefits every day. What we need, He provides for us. Hallelujah! Verse twenty-six: Bless God in the congregations, the Lord from the fountain of Israel. Hallelujah! Bless God in congregations. Verse thirty-five: Oh God, You are more awesome than Your holy places. The God of Israel is His who gives strength and power to His people. Blessed be God! What does the Lord do? Our God is a God who gives strength. And power for His people this morning. Let His name be glorified. Lift your hand once again, strongly with happiness, with rejoicing. Say, "Bless the Lord, Hallelujah!" Let us together, together tell Him thank you. Let us together worship Him. Let us pray, dear Heavenly Father, for this wonderful, blessed morning. Thank you, Father, on this month of the half day, Father, last fourteen days, and then on this fifteenth day, You who brought us so far for Your mercy and grace, Father, thank you, thank you, thank. Thank you, last full morning for protecting us. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Father. Last night for the good sleep you gave us. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. With good health and happiness this morning, you who woke us up for your mercy and grace, Father. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This morning also, you who is wonderfully leading us for your mercies and grace, we tell you thank you, Father. We worship you, Father. We praise you, Father. We lift your name on high. We give you the glory, Lord. We tell you thank you. We worship you. We praise you. You who is worthy of worship. You who is worthy of praise. You alone is to be glorified. Hallelujah, Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We pray for all who are hearing this voice today. In the name of Jesus, we bless and pray for your dear ones, Father. Everyone and their family life. Let it be blessed. The children you have given. Let it be blessed. The way of living. Let it be blessed in all their ways. Let them be a blessing, Father. Thank you for you are surrounding them with your. Favor, Father, thank you for your favor that is being visible in their life. Father, especially we pray for the sick in the name of Jesus. Let them be healed. Father, thank you. For you are the healer. By your stripes we are healed. Father, every ties of sickness in the name of Jesus be untied. Father, complete healing, complete health, complete rest. Thank you for it is being revealed in the life of your children. Hallelujah, Father, your miracle work. Father, let it happen upon those who are suffering from kidney stone. In the name of Jesus, let it be healed. Also, every complication in the liver. The swelling of the liver, let it be healed. Amen, amen, amen. The bilirubin level in the blood, let it be normal in the name of Jesus, Father. Upon the children, thank you for your works that are being revealed in the life of babies. Father, blood sugar, let it be normal. Blood pressure, let it be normal. Father, by your power, Amen. Father, let 
every ties of sickness be untied. Hallelujah. Father, in work matters, let your hand perform. Father, the right time, open ways for your children. Those in financial difficulty, Father, deliver your children, we pray. Also, Father, family life, let it be at peace and happiness. Father, bless your people, prepare them accordingly, we pray. Father, this morning, all who are hearing this voice today, once again, we bless them. In the name of Jesus, Father, bless the worship that is happening in Middle East. Father, today is Friday. Lord, when the congregations are being held, let your grace be there. Father, let your peace be there. Use your people mightily. Protect your people, we pray. Father, for your people, thank you for you are a salvation. Father, thank you for you are protecting. <clears throat> Father, this morning, cover us under your precious blood. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Let the Lord bless you all abundantly, abundantly this morning. Let the grace and the great peace of God in your life increase in abundance, I pray. Hallelujah. And let the Lord Almighty use you and bless each one of you abundantly this morning. Further, we are going to meditate from 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 33. 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 33. It says over there, Do not be deceived. Evil company corrupts good habits. Amen. Hallelujah. Do not be deceived. Evil company corrupts good habits. The Amplified Version says, Do not be so deceived. Did not be so deceived with evil companionships and associations. Meaning, what does it say over here? Do not be deceived through wrong relationships, through wrong friendship. Do not be deceived. The Holy Spirit is telling us this morning. Children of God, your life and my life, we are called to enjoy the blessing of heaven. That is why it says in the book of Peter, you have been called to enjoy the blessing. So, bless one another. Hallelujah. You who have received Jesus Christ as personal Savior, you are born again. And when it is concerned to the child of God, the word of the Lord is saying that you are called to be a blessing. You are called to enjoy a blessing. Hallelujah. That is why you are called as a child of God. Ye so dear children of God, everyone who is enjoying the salvation of God, the Holy Spirit is saying, you are his children. You are called to be blessed. When the blessing is fully revealed in our life, there are many things that we have to be careful about. And one thing is that with whom we associate is very important. With whom is a con communication? With whom is a association? That is very important for a journey forward. That is why it is very clearly saying over here that we should, with whom we are having company, that will affect or that will affect our character, or our behavior, or our mindset, or our moral status. What does it do? It affects. That is why in Psalms 1 it says, Do not walk in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stand in the path of sinners, nor sit in the seat of the scornful. When it is concerned to a child of God, do not go. we cannot go to a close relationship with everyone. We cannot associate with everyone. I'm not saying that you should run away from this world with everybody. No, it's not like that. You have to speak with everybody. But close association, close a relationship, close communication with a person will, re will reflect in our mind, in our thoughts, in our speech, with whom we walk. There is a proverb which says, where the jasmine is there, the rock also will have its smell. If you go through that path where jasmine flower is there, even whatever touches it will have its smell. Some, some of them, our forefathers say, if you wouldn't want to know that person, you just find out who their friends are. Our close relationship, our close friendship, we should be with the children of God. Then only can we go with the same thought. Then only can we go with the same mindset related to the word of God. I know what is in my mind. I know I am highly favored. And when I associate with a person who does not think in that manner, what is in him will be what is in the world. They might be thinking, how can I receive blessing? But then when it is concerned to us, we are already blessed. And that blessing will be revealed in our life. These two are different categories. So we who are the children of God should associate with correct people. Wrong association should not be there. Wrong communication. 
If you talk to a person on the phone who is worldly and speak to him more time, without even our knowledge, our mind will be diverted in that manner. Our help comes from the one who made the heaven and the earth. We don't. Our trust should not be in man. Our hope should not be in man. God does not desire that. We should not go with wrong association. This morning, though, when you are hearing this voice to the children of God, just think: your association with whom is your friendship? With whom are you talking more on the phone? With whom are you chatting more time? With whom are you spending more time? Wherever you are, always remember: wrong association, wrong communication will affect your blessing. But does that mean you don't need? Yes, you need. When you are living in this world, everyone we need. You should speak to everyone, deal with everyone. But those who are related closely to you, the word of the Lord says: Do not walk in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stand in the path of sinners, nor sit in the seat of scornful. So, what is it that we have to do? Our main motive should be the word of God. Meditate the word of God inside of us when we speak. Dear children of God, speak to those who can say the word of God today. The word of God that you heard, meditate. You and that person, Hallelujah. Their opinion about the word of God, your opinion about the word of God, and when you communicate the word of God, you will be built up spiritually, Hallelujah. So, with whom is your association? With whom is your communication? It is very important. That is why it says more, more. Dear children of God, Hallelujah. Evil company. Corrupts good habits. Another another word says it affects your good manners, moral character, everything. It will influence and defile it. So very carefully, we should live in this world. Our association, our communication, be very careful. Then only, children of God, the blessing that is said in the Word of God can be enjoyed completely. So this morning, when you hear this message, just don't say Amen and Hallelujah. Listen, listen. Just think: with whom are you spending more time? With whom are you speaking more time on the phone? With whom are you associating more? It is very important. Be very careful. And Psalms one says, "Hallelujah! He is like a tree planted beside green waters. Who, the one who does not have wrong association, the one who follows the law of the Lord, the one who meditates the word of God day and night. Do you want your life to be like that? Hallelujah! To be fair fruits at the right time, to be a tree with green leaves." With whom are you associated? With whom are you dealing? That is very important. Listen and let the Lord bless each one of you abundantly this morning. In the name of Jesus, we will grow, we will increase, and we will multiply. We are blessed. We are really blessed. We are permanently blessed, and we are highly favored. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you today. Hallelujah.